Hi, I'm Mr. G, and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about the Jeru action commands. Uh, so I already have some uh, Jeru uh, created here already, and uh, before I kind of walk through that code, I am going to go over here to the Help menu, and we're going to look at the language summary. And looking over here, what we're focusing on are the action methods, or the action commands. Uh, there are eight of them, and here, the hop with a number. Uh, on the inside of the parentheses, pick, plant, toss, give, uh, give with the relative direction and turn with the relative direction. So we'll be kind of looking at these. Uh, the first uh, ones we're going to look at are the hop, uh, just moving one space forward, then hopping with the number inside here where that number uh, is an int integer greater than zero. And then uh, the turn command, uh, which will, we, inside the parentheses, we'll need to put a relative direction. So turn in the indicated direction, but stay in the same location. Now, when it says relative direction, one of the things I can do up here is I can look and see there is a relative direction uh, tab here, and uh, the options there, left, right, ahead, and here. So those are some of the things we can put inside the relative direction uh, parameter there. Okay, so let's go back to our Jeru's. You can see I have four Jeru's created, Al, Bob, Callie, and Deb, and uh, they're all on row four, various locations. They're all facing north. And uh, this is the way they use those action methods. Uh, you, Whichever Jeru that you want to talk to, that you want to do that, you put uh, that Jeru's name or as identifier. Then you use the dot. Then you write whatever method, action method. So this one is hop. And we would expect that Al is going to hop forward one space. Um, if we want um, the Drew to hop uh, forward multiple spaces, then we just put that number inside there. So here I have Bob is going to hop two, uh, Callie is going to turn left, and Deb is going to turn right. Notice each time I have uh, the Drew's name, then the dot, then the method. And uh, those methods over here, the ones that I'm using, uh, notice they are lowercase uh, because uh, we're using the Java C++ C Sharp uh, language and it is case sensitive so uppercase and lowercase matter. I'm just going to uh, run this program step by step. So there we created the Al Jeru, the Bob Jeru, the Cali Jeru, and the Deb Jeru. You can see them all right there. Then we're going to expect that Al is going to hop next and he did one step. We expect the Bob is going to hop two and he does just jumps right to there. Cali we expect to turn left so Cali is facing north after this command, we see now Callie is facing west, and Deb is going to turn right, and we see that Deb did that. Okay, let's move on to the next commands. All right, so um, you can see I've changed the, uh, the island map a little bit, added um, some flowers there, um, um, I put a net right there, so um, and then I've added some new code here. So I've said Al is going to hop, Bob is going to hop, Callie's going to hop. So those three are going to hop forward so that they're going to be uh, on top of that seed. Then Al's going to pick, Bob is going to pick, and Callie's going to pick. And that is the, the pick command. Um, it will pick a flower from the current location. If there isn't a flower there, then there really isn't a problem. But there will be a flower wherever they're located. So Al is going to plant his flower back there again. Um, Bob will toss his and we'll see what happens. Callie will toss hers. Um, she's got the net in front of him and then Bob, or sorry, then Al over here is going to hop. So um, what we're expecting to see is because he's going to plant the seed back there, um, then whenever he hops forward we'll see, we'll, uh, see the plant again. Uh, Bob, who tosses the seed, um, not really totally sure what's going to happen, although well pretty sure that it's just going to disappear. Nothing's going to happen at all. And uh, Callie, when she tosses the, the seed, it should disable that net. So let's go ahead and run through this line by line. So first we'll create all, all of our Jeru's there. Al is going to hop. Bob is going to hop. Callie's going to hop. Al is going to pick. Callie will pick. Bob will pick the flower. So now you can see they all have uh, flower or seed, whichever way you want to think about that. So Al is going to plant his. Um, you can see now he no longer has that um, in his inventory. Bob will toss. 
and Callie will toss, and we see now that that disabled the net. Al will hop forward, and we can see that that seed was planted there again. Uh, if these other two were, would hop forward, we'd see there there wasn't anything underneath them. All right, so that takes care of uh, picking the flower, planting the flower, and uh, tossing the flower. It will disable a net, um, but if there's nothing in front, then it just sort of disappears and it gets blown away by the wind. Uh, next up, talk about the give. All right, so here we're going to talk about the give command, um, the give action method. So this is where a, a Drew can give a flower to another Drew. Now there's two different options here. There's just the give um, with the open print and closed print, nothing inside, where that's going to give a flower to a Drew in the space directly ahead of this Drew. And then we have give, and then you can put a relative direction in there where you give a flower to a Drew in it in an adjacent space. And just as a reminder, that relative direction, we can find that up here. Uh, you've got left, right, ahead, and here. Well, um, the, the left and the right are available. I guess possibly you could put use the head to the here. You can't, um, you're not going to really give it to anyone if you give it that here. And I'm not sure what would happen with that. Um, I've also changed the code and the map just a little bit here. We have Drew Ed. He's going to um, get created right there at the uh, zero, zero. Or sorry, location uh, one zero. Or no, no, zero zero is right the first time. Uh, Francine, uh, there over on zero three. Gertrude at one two. So Ed's going to pick up some flowers and give them to these other Jerus. So he's going to hop and then pick that. Hop and then pick that flower. And then Ed is going to give. And so you can see the give has nothing inside the parentheses. So uh, when he does that, we should see that Francine's uh, flower count goes from 0 to 1. And so we click there, and we see that it does. Ed's flower count dropped from 2 down to 1. And then I have ed.giveWrite. So on his right um, is Gertrude. And when he executes this command, we now see that Gertrude has one flower and Ed has none. He's given them to both Jeru's, and um, they're all pretty happy. So there we go. Um, that those are the action methods. Um, we talked about hop, uh, both versions, pick, plant, toss, give, both the default version and the one with the you can specify the direction and then turning as well. Um, just as a final note, there on the turn, um, it's you're limited to those relative directions. There is not turn around. You can't turn 180 degrees. If you want your Drew to turn completely around, you have to do two left turns or two right turns. So uh, something, if we rewind the scenario here, that would be something like ed.turn left and then ed.turn left again. And we'll just go ahead and run this all the way through. That's what it would take for Ed to turn all the way around. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, have fun programming your Jerusalem.